So hi Lenny, it's lovely to meet you um, and it's a pleasure to have you in Città di Castello. I hope you had a safe trip. Oh yeah, thank yeah. you. Thanks yeah. for having us. So we've just got a few questions. Um, so after the worldwide success of your song Hello, um, who are you today and what projects are you currently working on? Um, it's an interesting question, who are you? Because I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out quite a lot. But um, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm still um, a person that writes my own songs and um, I'm kind of really keen on that because there's this whole, like, I find it like a, like a kind of a stylish thing to do, co yeah. lots of co-writing sessions and, yeah. like, production sessions. And I, I still, you know, suggest on writing my own music and, and my own lyrics because it does come, you know, from me. Yeah. And um, so I'm still that kind of detail person um, that I w was um, when we did Hello. And um, I'm, I'm still, you know, excited about stuff. And, and I think I'm pretty down to earth still. Very, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the inspiration for your songs? Um, it's mostly just my life because you know lots of interesting things happen not only to me but around me you know like to people that I know and that I get into touch with so um, it's I guess it's experience and also for me it's interesting to see kind of the, um, the evolution of, of um, me as, as like a, a, a lyricist yeah. Um, like transforming that experience into lyrics because that was something I was still learning to do and now I think it's kind of like getting better and better. Yeah. Excellent. So what projects have you got on, on in the next few months? Um, I'm currently preparing the new album so I, I hope for it to, to be released uh, next year in, in the spring um, and now you know we're, um, we're doing a lot of shows, a lot of gigs now, the festival season is, yeah. is um, you know um, it's, it's kind of ending right now, yeah. but um, but we did a lot of gigs during the summer, and also there's a there's like a big tour that I'm doing um, in the fall, and um, there'll be like a big gig in in my home city, in oh, my really? hometown yeah. Prague, so um, I'm really excited. Excellent. To do that. Um, what is the most important um, thing about playing live for you? What's the most important part of that? I think it's the connection with the people and the, the energy that we, yeah. you know, that we exchange because I think it's, it's really, for me, it's the f that feeling, you know, I've been going for that mm -hmm. my whole life, you know, I've been um, kind of when I was that nine-year-old, I've been like having like a pretend mic, yeah. you know, <laughs> and I've been, I've been um, imagining, um, like in my imagination, I had like a huge crowd in front of me and just singing my songs and yeah. I never even imagined, you know, that I, um, I, I really wished for it, but I never imagined it would actually become a reality. Um, what do you think of talent shows? Because, you know, they're mm -hmm. very popular um, and yeah. they've been very popular for a long while now. Yeah. Um, what are your opinions? Um, I think, you know, I, I don't, personally, I, I'm not really into that kind of thing, like, um, in a viewer's point mm -hmm. of, of view, you yeah. know, because I, d I don't really watch, watch talent shows. Um, but um, I've actually been asked to, to be a judge oh, several really? times in my country. Um, although, you know, t because of time issues, I didn't, I didn't take the opportunity. But, um, you know, I don't really want to be against that kind of thing because I can understand that for most people you know it can be um, and an the only opportunity that yeah. they have you know the only kind of way that they could achieve their dreams so that I've got nothing against that so would would you consider if you had the time um, to be a judge on a talent show or I would consider it yeah. I definitely think yeah. it through but um, I, I like concentrating or I think I'm in a like kind of a um, a stage in my life where I prefer to, to focus on my music because I don't think that I've evolved okay. um, you know t to that point where I would feel comfortable judging somebody else yeah, yeah. but um, when I get to that point I would <laughs> consider it. <laughs> so I know your mother is a very popular singer and guitarist and mm -hmm. um, what have you learned from her? 
Um, definitely, you know, being professional because she was a huge role model without even having to, you know, um, she ne I mean, she never judged me, you know, she never was strict um, on particular things, you know, she, she never was a pain, <laughs> you know, she was always really kind mm -hmm. and she, she taught me by example. So I really, the, most of the things that, like the, the person that I am and most of the things I do, um, you know, including um, decision making and kind of the professional side of things and music and being basically a boss to my band and, and um, the, the, my team, yeah. um, I've learned that from her. Excellent. So what are you listening to at the moment? Who are your favorite artists? Um, actually, I like a lot. I, I, I love driving, and um, I drive a lot because we, we've got a, like loads of gigs each week. So I drive a lot um, to you know around my country and also like places like Germany and, and and other countries. And it's mostly long distance, so I love listening. I still listen to albums. I still have CDs. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm that old, old fashioned kind <laughs> yeah. of a girl, but. Um, um, I love also, you know, finding out about new artists, new music, and currently, you know, you know it's um, artists like Royal Blood, mm -hmm. perhaps something that has really like enough energy to kind of keep me going, you know, Sorry, keep me yeah. focusing. Yeah. And um, I like Post Malone, mm -hmm. and um, I love Pink because she's been my idol since, yeah, you know, yeah, forever. Yeah. And uh, so, so, yeah, um, Florence and the Machine, I love them as well, and um, lots of other artists. Excellent. So um, is this the first time you've ever been to Umbria? Actually, it is. It is, yeah. yeah. I've been, I've definitely been around Italy in the, in the past few years, yeah. and especially last year, because it, Hello went up the yeah. charts, and yeah. we had a, a great opportunity to kind of promote our music over here. So, um, so yeah, definitely, this is my first time in, in your town, yeah. and uh, it's a great experience. I can't wait, f you know, to perform. Have you, had you ever heard of festival, of this festival, or was it, it was something? Was, it was the first time yeah. that, I, that I've heard about it. Although, you know, when I, when I came here, and also in, in like the materials that I got, um, I went through all of the information, and you know, the history is amazing. It's like the 50th, yeah. the 51st year of the festival. Yeah. So th I find that amazing, yeah, you know, that, yeah. that goes quite, quite far, you know, so yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. I hope everything goes well tomorrow. Thank um, you. We'll all be watching. Thank you so much. I can't wait. <laughs> thank you so much.